Now, look at the Xbox Series X. It looks so cool. But look at the price on this. It costs almost $600, and I don't have that type of money with me right now. Wait, I know what I can do. I'll ask my parents if they can buy me one. They make enough money to get this house in Los Gatos. Then once I get my Xbox and a few games, I can finally own some noobs and make them cry. Ha 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 ha. No, I am not buying you an Xbox, young man. I'm not forking out $600. But dad, you and mom make a lot of money for bills and stuff. I want to own noobs and stuff. Come on. Brian, your father said no. How about getting yourself a job and make your own money? Then you can buy your Xbox. How about that? A oh, man. Do I have to? Ugh, fine. I'll get myself a job. Alright, I am currently thinking of where to work. I don't want to work at McDonald's because of that one incident with that big dude with the red mohawk. Maybe I should work at Burger King. Yes, that's it. I'll work at Burger King because they allowed to have it in your way. Let's go. Hello, what can I get you started with? I would like to order two chicken sandwiches please and a Sprite. Your total comes to $11.25. Here is your order sir. Excuse me young man, but this is not what I ordered. These are clearly two cheeseburgers when I wanted two chicken sandwiches. I am sorry sir, but we are sold out of our chicken sandwiches. So you will have to settle for burgers instead. Is that so? Then how come that guy is eating a chicken sandwich over there? Look sir, have you ever heard of the slogan, have it your way? Well guess what, you're either gonna have it my way and eat the two cheeseburgers, or you can just leave this place. Your choice, bub. If this is how you are gonna treat your customers, then I might as well leave this place and will never come back again. So rude of you to say that. What an idiot. Didn't even take his burgers with him. He is such a jerk, and I hope I never get to see him ever again. Hello, what can I get you started with? I would like to order 10 Bacon King burgers, 2 large fries, and a large surge to go please. Now why the hell would you order 15 burgers? Unless you are sharing it with a group of friends, I will not give you your food. Hey, give me my food or I will leave a bad review on you and your customer service. I want you to have it my way, because the sign clearly says, have in your way, and when a worker works here, it's their way. So how about ordering less stuff than what you need and maybe hit the gym for once? Well, that was very very despicable for you to say those mean things to me, you know what? I'm not gonna bother with this crap, I'm gonna go to McDonald's instead. Good? Maybe they'll give you a happy meal over there so they can make you happy. Get out. Get bent. God, that truly pissed me off. I'm trying to have it my way, and so far, none of these customers are having it my way. I want all these people to know that it's not their way. Hi, welcome to a crappy restaurant. Hurry up and order something now. Wow, how incredibly rude of you to say that. What did I ever to do to receive this treatment from you, huh? Huff, don't worry about what I've been going through. Worry about ordering your food before I really snap at you just like I did with your fat friend earlier this spring. No, I'm not gonna bother ordering food from you, but there's something you should worry about right behind you. Ryan Lestero, I need to see you in my office now. Ryan. I've been getting numerous complaints about the way you've been treating customers, getting them the wrong order, even refusing to give food to them. And it's not your way. Ryan, you know we don't tolerate that bogus here? Because of what you've been doing, I have no choice but to fire you from Burger King. Get out and don't ever come back here again. Ryan. What in God's name is wrong with you, being rude to the customers, acting like an entitled Karen, and giving them the wrong food, very unacceptable of you. You know what Ryan, you just lost your internet for a week, and I am taking away your allowance this week as well. Now go outside and think about what you did for 30 minutes, and come back in here when you are ready to apologize to us for what you did, and you will go job searching. Daisy, 
I do not know what our son has gotten into lately. We need to take him to therapy and give him help if he continues to act like this. I agree with you, Todd. I do not like our son's behavior. If he keeps doing this, then I won't let him visit his friend Lee until he is fixed in the head.